Hey guys, this is Michael Cheek, and uh, we're going to be learning the beginning of You Were Meant For Me by Jewel. Uh, this is a song request I had by one of my users on my website, and um, <laughs> they hired me to do this song, so I'm going to go ahead and put the first video up on YouTube, and the rest of this video and the other videos that I'm going to make for it will also be at www.mikesguitarlessons.com. Now, the section we're going to learn here, um, a lot of this song is just going to be finger picking, and that's what this uh, beginning is going to be like. Now, um, I'm tuned to standard here. Um, when, uh, her guitar, when she plays the song on the original recording, is not quite in um, standard. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to do it here. I'm not going to worry about doing a, a, a weird tuning for y'all since it's, it's, it's not really um, going to be that easy for some of you guys to do if you're just starting out on guitar. So we're going to do this in standard tuning. And the part we're going to be playing is going to sound like this. Okay, so basically four chords. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on that first chord. I want you to take your third finger and put it on the third fret of the B string, that note right there, and you're going to take your middle finger and put it on the third fret of the A string, okay? Everything else is open, um, so you're going to have these fingers there. Your right hand, this is a finger picking song, so we do have to worry about our right hand. Your thumb is going to go on the A string, if you can see that, okay? And then you're going to put your first uh, three fingers, your first finger is going to be on the D string, middle finger is going to be on the G, and your third finger is going to be on the B string, okay? That's going to sound like this. We don't move anything on the left hand, okay? So it's, uh, again, it's third fret on the A, open on the D, open on the G, and third fret on the B string. Now down here, we're going to play this. Okay? So first note's going to be the A string with our thumb. Make sure you use your thumb on that one. Then your middle finger is going to play the G string. Then your first finger is going to play the D string. Okay, so okay, so A, G, D, and then your third finger is going to play the B string. Okay. Then play the E string. Remember, that's just open. Okay. And then, really, you can use whatever two fingers here you want to, since we're um, we've only got these uh, two notes left on this chord. And you're going to play the G string and the B string. Okay. So. That's how it sounds. Now, the next chord change is pretty easy. We're going to pick up this middle finger here and put down our first finger in the second fret on the A string. Everything else stays the same. So your third finger is still on the third fret of the B string, but you've moved this bass note down on the A string to the second fret. Okay? We're going to grab the same four strings as we did before, basically the four middle strings, A through B, with our uh, thumb through our third finger. Okay? And the chord is held down and stays put. And then again, with your right hand, we're going to go thumb on the A string, then middle finger on the G, then first finger on the D, then third finger on the B. Okay, so. And then you're going to play E string again. Okay, so. And again, we play G and B after that at the end. So. Okay, so our first two chords are going to sound like this. Okay. Now we're actually going to switch to a C chord here. That's probably one a lot of you will just recognize because you've used it before. It's pretty common. And you're going to take your third finger and put it on the third fret of the A string. Okay? 
Your middle finger is going to go in the second fret of the D string. The G string is open. And the B string is first fret with your first finger. Okay? And the E string again is open. Now, again, your fingers on your right hand are in the same place. So it's going to be, uh, well, the chord is going to sound like this. Okay, now what that is, is you're going to start off at the beginning with the same picking pattern. So it's going to be thumb on the A string, then middle finger on the G, then first finger on the D, then third finger on the B string. Okay, so again, that's A string, G, D, B. Okay, and then we play the E string again. Uh, that's the skinny E string. Now, the last two notes, unlike the chords before, these last two notes are on the same string. What you're going to do is play the B string. That's the second string from the bottom, the one your first finger is on. And when we play it, we're going to pull off. So we play it once and then pull off, and that second note comes out. Okay? So. All right? So, so far, we've got... going to an E minor for our last chord. Okay, so what that's going to be is open on the thick E string. Our middle finger is going to play the second fret on the A string. Our third finger is going to play second fret on the D string. Then everything else under that is open. Okay, now our uh, thumb actually moves to the thick E string here. That's the thickest one you've got. But our other fingers stay where they were at. Okay? So first finger on the D, middle finger on the G, third finger on the B. Okay? And what we're going to do, again, our left hand here is going to just stay still on that E minor chord. And our right hand is going to play, uh, thumb's going to be on the E string first. Middle finger on the G. First finger on the uh, D string, and then third finger plays a B string, and then whatever finger you want to, I use my third finger usually to play the skinny E string. Remember that's open. Okay, so we don't have the extra two notes on that one. You just play that much. So it's going to sound like this. You can follow along with me if you want to. Here's the first chord. Second chord, third chord, and fourth chord. Okay, now that'll get you pretty far except for the fact that the last chord um, changes every other time you go through that chord progression. It changes to a different chord, um, but I'm worried about going over my 10 minutes on this first video, so I'm going to put that on the second video. But just practice that uh, one tip, just to keep your fingers close to those strings. Don't pull out and go too far. Try to keep them real close. Uh. <laughs> Sorry for that mess up. Anyways. Um, but once you get that down, go to the second video. Uh, you can check it out at mikesguitarlessons.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Good luck playing the song.